Well, uh, oh, we can spoil. We can spoil things. They mm -hmm. they really deserve a good uh, a good ending. Whether they like it or not, they deserve closure. And uh, and I think that that was given. So I I am happy with it. To see it end in this place that is like the happily ever after, the peaceful sort of setting where they can just sort of carry out their days, you know, um, making out and stuff. Like, I think that it's absolutely lovely. I'm not sure what happened. I'm so bummed that the series is ending after part four. That wasn't the original plan, of course. Kiernan, how are you feeling about parts four serving as the series finale? And, and what can you tease about what was supposed to happen? I am feeling, uh, you know, y you feel a million different things when you dedicate your life to something for a few years and then it comes to a close. But I will say that I think we handled the last few episodes as if they were the last episodes. So people are gonna get closure and they're gonna get a satisfactory ending that doesn't feel like it was just cut off unnecessarily. Uh, I am just very, very glad that we approached that finale like it was a true finale because I think it, you never know. We didn't have a pickup, so we may as well have been, you know, shooting a finale. So it, it, it made sense to actually uh, do so. And I'm happy that we did because I think the fans who have been dedicated and enthusiastic beyond belief for these past few years, they deserve that. They, mm -hmm. they really deserve a good uh, a good ending. Whether they like it or not, they deserve closure. And uh, and I think that that was given. So I, I am happy with it. Sabrina Spellman, War Endgame. In part four, Nick dropped the OTP bombshell by saying that Sabrina and Nick are endgame. <laughs> Given how this season ends, how do you feel about their relationship now? Well, uh, oh, we can spoil. We can spoil things. Yes, excellent. Uh, this is a long time coming, Leanne. I feel like this um, this love has been driven by the fandom, truly. Uh, we often see how people are shipping who with who, and, um, and writers listen to that, and creatives listen to that, and we look at that and eat it up just as much as they do. And I was tentative at first. I felt like I was kind of coming into a relationship of Harvey and Sabrina, and I was breaking that up. However, Sabrina and Nick's love goes through so many trials and tribulations. And I really think that relationships that can withstand the good, the bad, and the ugly really are something real and special. You know, uh, Sabrina and Harvey had something that was pure and, and lovely in its, in its youth, and Nick and Sabrina had something that was really sort of tough, like they had to work at eventually loving each other and work at being able to trust each other again. So to see it end in this place that is like the happily ever after, the peaceful sort of setting where they can just sort of carry out their days you know, um, making out and stuff. Like, I think that it's absolutely lovely. Sabrina, is that you? Well, there you are. Where were you? We were getting worried. Not me. I haven't been worried since bottomless mimosas. <laughs> we got a bewitching surprise when the aunts from Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Caroline Rea and Beth Broderick made a surprise cameo. How did this crossover come about? I mean, I couldn't tell you how it came about because in the script, it was so vague. I don't think that they wanted to uh, get their hopes up. So I think when the script was originally sent out to all of us, they didn't have the aunties secured yet. So it was like, Sabrina steps into another universe and we see two familiar faces. <laughs> and... Uh, I was like, is this really what we're gonna, are we really gonna get these guys? And they were delightful and lovely and it just felt like absolute kismet. Like we should definitely not uh, leave this show in this world without bringing in the OGs. Oh yeah. So I was, I was delighted. Well, do you ever think that we could revisit this character in a movie? Do you have anything that's still on your Sabrina bucket list you never got to tackle? She never got to go to the town over. I want her to go to Riverdale. I've said this all the, I say this all the time, but I would love to just, those kids need help. They need help. They're struggling without magic. 
look, they're dealing with a lot. And I just think it would be like really nice of her if she would to go like help them out a little bit. I mean, well. Riverdale's not canceled yet. So I feel like, could we see you go on to their show? I'm down. Someone's just got to call me and tell me to do it. I'll be there. I'll be there in a heartbeat. Oh.